let's start off by having a look at how to use the tension gun. So, we take our piece of string, we run it through the front part of the gun and wrap it around and then back in through the side. And then to increase the tension, we just pull on this trigger here. So it's very simple to use it. We have our tension gauge up at the top up here. So it goes all the way up to 65, kilo, or 65 pounds or 30 kilograms. So you can put a lot of tension into your racket. And when you want to release the tension, when you're taking the string out, we press this part on the front. One thing to note, when, when you're releasing tension, make sure you hold the front part here like this. So make sure you hold the gun like this. Let's see, so when it's, it's gonna be out like this, press the front part, front trigger here, this one here, hold that and it will release the tension. Okay, first of all, we need to secure this mount to the table. So I put it on the edge, run my cl clamp through it like so, and then just tighten it. It's very, very simple. Once I get it nice and tight, then we can secure the racket to it. That's it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to attach the racket to the frame. So you see we have this end here, so this screw up here can adjust the distance between these two screws here. So we want to get the throat of the racket, and we're going to put the throat, throat of the racket down this end, because we don't want this part of it to get in the way. So just find the middle of the racket, it's marked on this one. Uh, so find the middle of the racket, put it over the screws, put it on gently so you don't damage it. Take the first block, put it on down here, and just secure the racket on with the screw here. So you don't want to put it on too tight so you don't damage the racket. And then get the second block and do the same thing down here. And once we have it set up like this, we're ready to go. So we're ready to string now. Now what I need to do is to put the string into the racket. So I find the middle two holes and I run the string up and down through them like I'm doing just here. And then once I do that, you'll see that I'll pull them through so that they're the same length. And I'll just do that by walking backwards. So you can see here, I'm putting it, I've run it up, and now I run it down through the middle. Make sure it goes through the middle two holes. It's easy to miss uh, one of the holes where you have the screw. And now, once I do that, I'm gonna to start to walk backwards, and I'm gonna pull the two strings the same, so that they're the same length. And once I have the two strings the same length, I'm gonna run a third string back up to the head of the racket so that there are three strings through. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm running a third string back up and I'm gonna make sure again you come out through the, the correct hole. So I run my third string back up. And once I have that done, now you watch this carefully because this is what I want to get at the start. I pull it so that I have a little bit of tension and I'm gonna take one of the clamps and I'm gonna clamp the middle two strings together. So just go to the middle of the racket and clamp the middle two strings together. Just before you do that, pull it so that you have a little bit of tension in it. And now, once we have all that done, we're ready to start stringing properly. Once I have the initial setup done, I'm gonna to start to put tension in the string. So I'm gonna use the easy stringer as shown. I take the string that's coming from the top of the racket and I put it through the easy stringer like I've, like I've done here. And then just pull it to the required tension. Once you get it to the required tension, then you're gonna take the second clamp and you're gonna put it on as I'm doing here. So you clamp the next two strings together. Make sure the clamp is tight enough, but not too tight, because you don't want to damage the strings, but it has to be tight enough to, to hold the tension. And try and get the clamp as close to the racket frame as possible. And once I've done that, then you can release the easy stringer and run the string back down through the racket and down to the other end. And that's the first string done. So you'll see here, I'm gonna run the string back down through the racket, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Always make sure you go through the correct holes. Pull it through. Don't let the string get caught on anything. It's easy to get caught. Run it through the easy stringer. It's, this is probably the hardest place to use the easy stringer 
right at the um, throat of the racket. Gets in the way a little bit, but it's only for one string. So now I pull the tension to whatever I want. And once I have it at the correct tension, I'm going to take the clamp off. The clamp that I just put on the top, and I'm going to put the clamp down here at the, these two strings. And I'm going to clamp these two strings together as close as possible to the frame of the racket. And I keep doing that. I'm going to do that for maybe three or four strings on this side. And then once I do that, I'm going to, when I do three or four strings on this side, I'm going to start doing the strings on the other side. Once I've done a few strings on the left hand side or on one of the sides, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'll take the, the piece of string down that came out the throat of the racket. These are, this is from the middle two sets of strings now. And I run it through the easy stringer, pull it to, put to the required tension. And you see the middle two strings get tense now. And then once I do that, once I get it to the required tension, I'm going to take the clamp off of the middle of the racket. So now those two strings aren't clamped together and I'm going to put them, I'm going to clamp them back together but this time down at the frame of the racket. And then I let go of the easy stringer and I run the string back up through the racket and I keep doing that. And I'll do that on both sides. Really you should do maybe two strings on one side and then two strings on the other side. Don't do two, don't do all of the strings on one side and then all of the strings on the other side. So just do a few on one side, then do a few on the other side, pull it through, get the tension, and then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to tie the knots. Once you have all of the mains done on both sides, you're gonna tie the knot. So what you wanna to do to tie the knot is to go to the next grommet down from the last main that you just did and pull the string through. Now we want to run under the string to create a loop and then we're going to go back up and go through the loop so really it's just like the initial part of tying a shoelace so we go back up and pull pull it tight not too tight because you'll see why in a minute the reason that we don't want to go too tight just yet is because we're going to run back down under the string and then we're going to get the string to come back up through the hole through the loop you can see here so sometimes it's a little bit tricky to come back up through that loop, especially if you've pulled it too tight at the start. Now we're going to pull it tight. So I use, sometimes I use the easy stringer to pull it tight. If you look at what I did here, I actually made a mistake because I put the easy stringer on the wrong part of it to pull it tight. Because if you saw the string was coming back out through the loop, so I actually put it on the wrong side. So now I'm putting it on the other side and you'll see now it will pull it tight. You can see it start the knot starting to come tight. Now once I, once I pull it tight a little bit with the easy stringer, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the string through you need a tool sometimes to pull it through, so I pull it through, pull it nice and tight, and there's our knot. And I do exactly the same on the other side. Once I, once I have the knot, I can take the clamp off, and then just clip it. Give it nice and short. Now we have our first knot done, and we do exactly the same on the other side. Once I have the mains done then, I want to do the crosses. So I find the first hole, Pull my string to length, find the first hole, and pull the string through all the way to the other side. 
over and under. Make sure you don't uh, skip one of the strings. It's very easy to do, especially when you're learning how to do it. And then back out through the hole on the other side. So once I get it out through the hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it, maybe pull it about 30 centimeters or 35 centimeters at the start until you get good at tying the knots. So about 35 centimeters, pull it through, and then I'm just going to clamp it. So I clamp it on the outside of the racket this time. So that's going to hold it there for me while I pull the tension through. I take the easy stringer, I run it through and I pull it to the required tension. You'll see the string straighten up here. And once I get it to the required tension, I take the second clamp and I just clamp the string. Now if you look at where, where I put the clamp this time, I just put it over this one string. Again, try and put it as close to the frame as possible. And nice and tight because you don't want to lose any tension. So once I have it there, clamped, I release the tension gun and I'm gonna run the string through and I keep doing that all the way down to the end of the racket. Now it's very easy to skip one of the strings or you might run two of them underneath by accident. So be very careful as you do it. So just start again through the next hole, out through the hole on the other side, get your tension, clamp it and continue until the very end. Now I'm going to put a knot on the cross string, so I just run the string through the nearest hole that I can get it back through, the nearest next hole, and once I do that, you might need a tool because it gets very close to the clamp. So I pull it through the nearest main string. I run it through, I make my loop, come back up through the loop, A little bit awkward because it's close to the clamp. So you can see a nice loop there. I come back up through the loop and then I've got to run the string back down 
and then back up through the knot. Now, make sure you don't pull that first initial knot too tight because then it becomes very hard to come back up through the loop, which I think I'm having trouble with here. No, oh, I got it. So I come back up through it and just pull it nice and tight. And then once you pull it nice and tight, then you can snip off the edge or snip off the string to um, keep it nice and short. So I'm using the easy string here just to pull the tension a little bit. And what you'll see is on the outside of the racket, there's often a little bit of a loop. So if you use the easy stringer just to pull the knot nice and tight, it'll get rid of the loop on the outside of the racket. So now I'm just gonna pull it through. And that's the knot done on the mains. And then I do exactly the same thing with the knot um, at the other side. Now I'm gonna do the second knot on the crosses. So remember we had the clamp on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the second clamp before I open this clamp, I'm gonna take the second clamp and I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna put it very close to the, as close to the frame as possible. Now I open this clamp and I do exactly the same as I've done before. So I, I'm just gonna pull, pull a little bit of tension through just in case it lost a little bit of tension. So I'm just gonna pull it through. Once I pull it through, I'm gonna run it through the closest um, hole that was on the mains. I'm going to run my string around, I'm going to create a loop and then once I create my loop I'm going to run, finish the knot. So you can see on this one, I had a little bit of trouble going back up through the loop. So what I did was I just sharpened the edge of the string and then I was able to get back up through the loop.